My name is Mary Lou Dingman, and I am a real estate business productivity coach. And what that means is I help real estate agents build their real estate business. And one of my areas of expertise is hosting open houses. And I've got the top 10 mistakes that agents make when hosting open houses. And I'm at tip number three. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you so that I can recap the last few and uh, jump on to today's. A little bit about me first. I was licensed in 2001 in real estate and I was in new home sales from 2001 to 2008. That's what got me really comfortable at making people feel at ease that walked into the sales centers. I was a buyer specialist until 2016, and I have been a full-time real estate productivity business coach for four years now. All right. So number one, recap, not actively lead generating for open houses. Reach out to those agents in your office that have the listings if you don't. Number two, not incorporating virtual open houses. And this market and with, with the pivot that we've had to make, you should be doing virtual and in-person open houses if in-person are allowed wherever you are. Number three tip is not stepping up your game. All right. You want to make sure that you're promoting this open house. You want to make sure you have a sign in your yard. Put a sign in your yard with balloons or pinwheels are great too. Directional signs. Your open house information should have the time that you're doing the open house. Make sure that you're posting the event on social media. You're inviting your sphere. You're inviting former open house visitors. Invite a minimum of 25 neighbors per open house. I'm going to blow your mind with some math right now. And I've got my calculator here. So if I look down, that's what's going on. Okay. All right. Let's say you do two open houses a month and you invite 25 neighbors, whether you're putting a flyer in their door, door knocking, calling, social media, whatever you're doing. So let's say you do 25, right? Per open house, you do two open houses a month. That's 50 people that you are inviting. Let's say you do this 10 out of 12 months in a year, okay? So we're going to take that number 50, multiply it by 10. That is an extra 500 people who had no idea who you were or that you sold real estate the year before. They're going to know at the end of the year, all right? So step up your game with open houses and use the open house as an op opportunity to build your business in many different ways, one of them being inviting those neighbors. I hope you find these tips helpful and uh, good luck at those open houses.